Hey, how's it going? I am Brandon Boudet. I have Little Dom's Seafood in Carpinteria and Little Dom's in Los Angeles. And right here I have some Santa Barbara sea urchin. With this, we're gonna make some uni butter and do barbecued oysters. All of this stuff that I got for every single dish is all within like 50 miles. From two wonderful fishermen, Stephanie Musk, who is actually a sea urchin diver. She provides us with some of the greatest sea urchin in the world. And Ben Hyman, who has wild local seafood, who's based from Ventura County all the way up until Monterey County. The cool thing about this is I picked these up less than 24 hours ago. Right here I have a sea urchin opener. Very simple, it's like a reverse pair of tongs. And it's very simple. Right here, boom, boom, just like that. And you take this rubber little spatula right here, and we're gonna scrape them out into this icy saltwater solution. What the saltwater solution does is help firm up the sea urchin, and it also helps you get all the seaweed off of it that they've digested. But there you go, perfect, beautiful piece of Santa Barbara sea urchin. This is approximately um, eight ounces of sea urchin to one pound of butter cubed up and softened with all the juice and everything, put it right in there. Next, we have some smoked paprika, crushed red pepper, sea salt, chopped up garlic, and some oregano. And last, we have some lemon juice and lemon zest. What you're really doing is making a compound butter. I like using this old school little handheld blender because it gets the job done pretty easily. And when you're making uni butter, you don't have to get it perfectly combined. We got some wonderful Santa Barbara sea urchin butter. These are some wonderful oysters that were just harvested. These are gigas, which is a nice medium, briny, salty oyster. Wear a glove and find the oyster nut that you like the best. There's different sizes, different shapes. I like something where you have a nice handle. The bigger the oyster, the bigger the blade, basically. The bummer about having super fresh oysters are they're actually harder to open. If your oysters are really easy to open, then you probably have an old oyster on your hands. We're gonna top them off with a little bit of our uni butter that we have. Be pretty generous with it. I'm going into the little wood burning oven that we have here. So the butter is starting to bubble up. You know they're done when it actually starts to curl and really get bubbly on the sides. Here we have our finished barbecued oysters. That beautiful uni butter, nice and caramelized and melted over the top. The best time to serve these, I find, is in the fall when it's a little cool outside. This is the perfect appetizer to have. And then you take the rest of that oyster liquor and butter and pour it all over the top. And I am blessed with some beautiful rosemary blossoms that I get to garnish it with. So here we have our finished barbecued oysters with Santa Barbara sea urchin butter. That was really good. I grew up in New Orleans and this is something that we have on a regular occasion. This just reminds me of home. Hope you like these barbecued oysters. Can't wait to see your comments down below and be sure to subscribe if you wanna see me do two more seafood dishes.